So here's the double sheetrock. You can see one, two. Just a cheap way of insulating. Here's the nice clean beam. There was no wires, but I took the necessary precautions. And maybe Jay, just shake the snake if you can. We'll just see if it's actually in here. Up and down. Oh yeah, it's not here, but. You want me to move it again? Yeah, yeah, shake it. Yeah, it curled up somewhere. All right, we're gonna set the box in and then we'll play with the snake. That was about five minutes of playing around with the snake. You can see that we have the box opening cut. The snake has been pulled through, goes down here, and there is the other end of the snake there, which we're now going to attach the wire to right there and pull it down from here back into this box here. Also be aware of falling tools so this doesn't happen to you. So correction is that we're going to pull the wire up. If you pull it down from the top it has a tendency to get caught on the lip of the existing box. It's easier to pull it up and through. So we bent the end of the snake to form a hook. You strip that away and get your ground wire. Crimp that on there with the linesman's. Get everything as straight as possible and start pushing until you can get it through the box. Just like that. And see what I'm doing here? Even though Jay's here, you have to learn how to do things yourself, especially in this life. So normally I have Jay either pull or feed, but he's using the camera. So you say, well, why would you just pull it? You risk using the metal hole, stripping the sheathing, because there's always a, a spur or a burr, excuse me. So what you do is you don't want to do this necessarily. See how it's it's getting a little stuck? What I'm going to do is cut the resistance by pushing it toward the pushing wall. Pushing it towards the wall, but I'm not pressing it down. I'm just mimicking if someone was here. And now it's See, a like little that. hesitant, but you're using your foot. See how I'm creating the slack? down to get it as flat as possible and very shortly now that's it and what you're supposed to do is technically tape that because sometimes you're like three inches away and you and you, you you lose it but it's pretty much on you're done with the snake for today I always like to wrap it up because it's ridiculously in the way and it hurts if it's not wrapped up and it whips you because you know JK likes to whip it good okay we're gonna get right into it this could stay if you choose you could give it a little you're already wasting the wire this is plenty I'm gonna probably feed it up like this so I'll, I'll use a little bit more and for future reference if the TV ever decides to not like smart and go dumb I could always come from the ceiling in the attic, come down, pop a hole, run a Cat5, but that's a whole different ball game because I currently don't have any room for Cat5's internet because my current provider were being, it's being tapped out. So we just pick a spot. as much in. Six inches is the minimum. Create a little like this. Push it up. That goes in. Now you want to get your drill and you need your drill because you need the torque. There's two flats. The double drywall should be okay but there's two flaps here. You see that flap? That's going to go out 
and catch the wall, almost mimicking what the uh, bracket did. If not, there's a beam right here. I could send in two, two drywall screws. Box doesn't have to be straight, but it does help the outlet being installed straight. You saw it all slow. You want to feel the clamp clamping on the drywall. This one didn't make it. So you just back it out, take a little screwdriver, coerce it up, and then there it is. You just just want to get it where it like it dimples because then you know yeah see that's 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 good now the rest is as quick as you are as an electrician remember always do that first because this is dead this is dead power it's not connected so you can play with it you can push up the slack make it do what you want see i'm pulling the slack out but i'll just push it back in when i'm done again now this blue box could always come out this basically is now a chase. I can't get downstairs because it's a den, but I could always run pretty much anything I want from the attic to the TV from now on for the rest of the life of the TV. It's plastic, so it's not grounded. The box, I mean. Well, so I like to choose the drill because it's your time. That's it. White to white, black to black, neutral to silver, hot to bronze. Again, it's dead. This is how you install an outlet behind your TV if you have access to power anywhere. I mean, as an electrician, this would cost money and it might be a, a cleaner job. But it's my house, so I would technically do it the same way. To be honest with you, I really wouldn't do it any other way. <laughs> I'd clean up, maybe take a break, you know, get a Coke and a smile, you know. But the, what's he saying? Why did you stop talking? <laughs> Oh, see? See? I want you to tell you. This is not going to cover it. Unacceptable in a person's home, even though the TV covers it. Fortunately, my home, got to get it done. This is what they do in Arizona. I'm from Arizona, and we don't do it that way. <laughs> Come on, make your comments. An easy fix for that is to use an oversized plate. Right, it gets that big, right. And it's just a, just a shade larger, and it will cover mm -hmm. a minor imperfection. That, I mean, that's pretty close there. Right. And that's the nothing like you could hit, hit that with a little bit of paint, and probably no one would even notice. Right. But if you really wanted to cover it, you can get an oversized plate, and that would take care of the problem. So One, two, just three. the shits while he's still going. We'll come back to this, but we'll just pop this up. Again, like I said, there's a little lip. Be careful. 
if you want to bring it around for right now I'll bring it around and Jay well let me see if I can no no just come here stand right here okay you got it see there you go I like to plug it in the bottom and then you wrap the cord around if Jay goes over there you don't see it that's it we'll leave it up and we'll unplug it so I don't um, also, it is recommended to try to get a power surge, but these TVs are quite, this is 140, it adapts it. Power surge, of course, translates into surge protector, just so you know.